Now that we know how to get data into our spreadsheets, let's see how we can edit that data to make changes. All right, we've entered in our basic data. We've got our sales reps names. We've got the months across the top. Now we have some sales figures. Let's say I goofed. Let's say February's sales for Alex were not 65. They were actually 62. So we need to be able to make a change. Now there are several ways to change information in Excel. I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways. I want you to pick one that you like and stick with it. You don't have to remember all these different methods. The first way to change the data is to simply type over it. Take your mouse or use the keyboard and move over to cell C3. Now just type 62 right over the top of that cell and press enter. That will replace the data in that cell with whatever you type in. You don't have to delete the information first. You can type right over the top of it. The next way you can change the data is to use the formula bar. I'm going to take my mouse again and click on C3. Notice up on the formula bar it says 65. You can take your mouse and click in the formula bar and edit the information right up top here. Backspace 62. This becomes very handy when you have long formulas or functions in these cells and you want to be able to edit a short part of it without changing or replacing the whole formula. You can also edit the cell right in place instead of using the formula bar. Take your mouse and double click on the cell you want to edit. You'll now be placed in edit mode right inside that cell. Notice the blinking cursor. You can now edit whatever you want to right inside the cell. Press enter when you're done. And finally, for you keyboard freaks out there, you can edit information using just the keyboard. Now me personally, I'm a keyboard freak. I hate having to stop and grab the mouse whenever I'm working in Word or Excel. I wish I could do everything with just the keyboard. So I like to show you these keyboard tricks. Using the keyboard, using the arrow keys, I'm going to move right over cell C3 and then I'm going to press the F2 function key. F2 will also place you in edit mode. And now again, I can change this information in here using just the keyboard. So as you can see, there are several ways that you can edit information in your cells. You can use the formula bar across the top. You can use the keyboard. You can double click with the mouse. Again, pick one of these methods that you think will work best for you and stick with it. You don't have to remember all four. You can also delete information using the delete key. For example, let's say I want to delete Pat. I can click on Pat and press delete on the keyboard. That will clear the contents of that cell. Now if I realize, oops, I goofed, how do I get Pat back? Well, I could just retype Pat, but there's a better way. Right up here on the toolbar, there's a button called Undo. We talked a lot more about Undo in our Microsoft Word 101 class, but Undo basically undoes the last thing that you did. So if I click on Undo, it puts Pat back. We'll use Undo a little bit more later on in class. Right next to Undo is the Redo button. Redo puts it back delete that we just did. So you can see how you can go back and forth between undo and redo. You can also undo multiple steps. So if you decide you want to undo the last two or three things that you did, you can keep clicking on the undo button. Again, check out our Microsoft Word 101 class for a lot more information on undo.